A big part of why Warren began was because we were readers. We were readers of other magazines and we felt like there was something missing. I think Warren writes about clothes in a more accessible way, in a way that celebrates personal stories as opposed to what's hot and what's not. It's, uh, it's not your typical fashion magazine, it's better. Warren Fashion Journal is different from any other fashion magazine. I wanted to talk about fashion not just from the point of view of something to buy or reporting on trends. Warren is self-distributed. It's really from beginning to end of every stage of the magazine. It is us who is making it and who's getting it to that reader. We pat them up, we ship them out to our subscribers, we ship them out to stores entirely ourselves. You know, when they email being like, I need to renew my subscription, it's not just some like faceless customer service person who works for a third party, it's us, it's always us. We're selling it, we're packing it, we're taking it to the post office. We do all that ourselves. And I think our readers really sense that and they really appreciate that. The inspiration that we get from readers who have things delivered to them in crazy places. <laughs> We're being sold in a gas station somewhere in the Yukon. It's amazing. It just feels so right and like exactly the perfect next step for Warren to produce a real book that anthologizes issues 1 through 14. Many magazine anthologies focus on the writing as the central idea. The Warren Archive is really interesting because nearly 50% of the book is full of photos, images, illustrations, and design. It's just as much of an art book as it is something you want to read. Warren is so eclectic and uh, there's so many different styles, so many different photo shoots over the years. We haven't just uh, redesigned the old issues, we've also added new artwork and new photos. It feels surreal to finally hold it in my hands. Different perspectives are, are everything, like we can't keep looking at the same media corporate image coming at us all the time. We need to look other places and Warren offers that opportunity for people and it's not fluff, it's like real. These people are smart like, and that's the kind of stuff that I'd like to see come out of fashion. Fashion can be a lot of different things. It can be personal, practical, art, object, history, identity, ideas, and most of all, it can be fun. Style is your response to the fashion industry, and I think Warren is very much about promoting style, and all you need to do is get excited. For people that are new to Warren, they can pick up the book and use that as a primer, or for people who have always loved Warren, they can see the way the content from those first 14 issues is being reinterpreted to be in this format. And that's why I'm so excited that we have the opportunity to be distributed with Raincoast because Raincoast can take it to bookstores all over Canada um, and get all these new Warnets all over the country um, because that's really our goal, you know, nothing less than total world domination, one Canadian bookstore at a time. I'm Anita Clark and I'm a Warnet. I'm David Leonard and I'm a Warnet. Hi, I'm Tavi and I'm a Warnet. I'm Jeannie Becker and I'm a Warnet. 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 And I'm a Warnet. I'm a Warnet. I'm a Warnet. We're Warnets. I am a Warnet.